Hey guys, welcome to another Culico fabrication tutorial. This video is for the new welders. You're either brand new and you've never welded before or you're just starting out. I'm gonna help you with the thought process and the execution on how to take those first steps in becoming a good TIG welder fast and efficiently. Talk about all of my welding experiences, the equipment I use, and if I were to start from point A again, what I would do in the fastest way to become a good TIG welder. You do not need to go to school for TIG welding. You don't need to spend money on a degree in welding. Now, if you have, that's cool. That's not wrong. You're probably an amazing welder. And if you're thinking about it, it's not necessarily wrong, but it's definitely not a must. Not being boastful here, just more information. I'm completely 1000% self-taught in TIG welding. And I was offered an aerospace welding job by SpaceX um, in Hawthorne, California. If you're new to my channel, a brief backstory about myself. I grew up in the motorcycle racing industry. My dad always had hot rods and cars and stuff, so I was always exposed to that. I started welding and fabricating in high school, which then transitioned into me building parts for the motorsports industry. So I built lots of exhaust, hundreds and hundreds of exhaust systems, dozens of chassis, and I have a lot of experience in TIG welding and fabricating many different materials materials, alloys, titanium to chromoly chassis, a lot of titanium and stainless steel exhaust. I've used Inconel and everything in between. So when it comes to welding, fabricating, I've been doing this about 10 years. I've done a lot of it and I think at this point I can speak to it and I can help others with their journey as they begin to weld and fabricate. So first, let's talk about the thought process and the mental execution behind TIG welding. First of all, let's debunk this myth that it's like magic, that you have to be some like wildly talented individual or artist to be a good TIG welder. That's not the case. Anybody can become a good welder. Now, of course, some people are going to catch on faster than others, but it's not some special talent. If you put in the time and you want to learn and you want to become a good TIG welder, you can absolutely do it. So get that out of the way. And I'm even going to take it a step further. When you get a TIG welder and when you start welding, you're going to be surprised at how fast you can get good. As long as you're practicing on a weekly or a daily basis and you're trying and making the effort, you will get better. You will get better a lot faster than you think. Now, as for the welder or the actual machine, Yes, there is a difference in quality in machines, but a quality machine is not going to make you a good welder. If you don't have a machine yet, and I could make a recommendation, I would go with a Miller Dynasty product. Now they're a little spendier. I have the Miller Dynasty 210, but I think for water-cooled TIG welders, they're really hard to beat. If you have a Lincoln or an air-cooled model or something else, don't worry, you can still weld really, really good with those models. In fact, I started with a Lincoln air-cooled TIG welder in high school when I first started. The machine does not make the welder, but in time, having a quality machine does have its advantages. So we're not gonna weld today. On my channel, you can see tons of different welding videos, different materials, techniques, weld settings, everything. First start welding, you need to just put in the hours, just weld like crazy. And I would recommend just getting to know your torch, getting to know your foot pedal, and just start on flat material. Don't weld anything together at the beginning and just watch your pool and just play with the different heats and the different temperatures. And if you wanna start introducing rod, you can and just make beads on flat material. Don't worry about welding anything together yet. You just need to get, get to know the electrode, the torch, your hand coordination, and just play with it and just watch it. If you wanna do little circles, that's fine. If you wanna do straight runs, just get to know your torch. Do that with steel and stainless steel. And then when you're ready, switch the machine over to AC and do it with aluminum. Just play with the puddle. That's all you need to do right now is, is to get to know your torch 
Then when you're ready, take two pieces and just butt them up. Tack it, tack it, tack it. And then just work on flat butt welds like this. Just run your torch. I would recommend just fusing it. Get to know fusing the material. And just weld these up. And then slowly, if you want to, start introducing rod. After you've spent days playing with the, the puddle and the torch and doing simple butt welds, then start grabbing different materials, different thicknesses. Just go to your local material shop, buy some aluminum, steel, stainless steel, you know, eighth inch, sixteenth, fifty thousandths, get thin stuff, thicker stuff. Start doing 90 degree welds and filling it in here with all different materials, you know, just weld. You need to practice and keep going and going and going and you're gonna make tons of mistakes and you're going to destroy tungstens and that's okay, you're gonna dip them, have packs of tungsten with you, that's all right. Just don't give up, you know, like keep going. Why do you wanna become a TIG welder? If the why is strong enough, if you wanna build cool stuff and build custom bikes and cars, or if you want to get a job in aerospace welding or whatever, just don't give up. That's all I wanted to cover today. Just the basics and the introduction and the execution for brand new TIG welders. If you're looking for actual constructive how-to techniques for certain materials or machine settings, look at the other videos on my channel. If you have any specific questions, please comment below. I will respond immediately. To finish up this video, you can absolutely become a good TIG welder. Get the machine, start welding, Welding, practice every day, every week, every month, and I promise you it will come faster than you think and you will be a good TIG welder in no time. Checking out this video, we'll see you on the next one.